Hey everyone! Andrea here from Paxton, Illinois. I am going to make a very easy recipe for you guys and hopefully my phone does not fly off the stand like it usually does. But if it does, I forewarned you. Okay. If you are live with me, drop a cookie below and if you are watching the replay, drop a bomb. Hey Melissa, so I'm going to make a very easy peanut butter cookie recipe, keto style, has no flour in it. It's only got three ingredients. Actually, I'm going to add a fourth because it doesn't call for this, but I was at it anyways. If you are new, drop the word new and tell me where you're coming in from. If you want to share this out, please do so. It's only, well now I made it, it's four ingredients now. Ugh, the stand, when, whenever my phone focuses in and out, it freaks me out like the phone's gonna fly off. <laughs> but if it does, I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna make peanut butter cookies and the first uh, ingredient is peanut butter and this is the peanut butter that I use. I get it from Walmart um, and it only has three net carbs. I don't know if you can see that per serving. So a whole cup of this yummy, yummy peanut butter. And I use this for my cookie bombs too. I'm going to try to tilt this, but if it flies off, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you get, see anything? I don't even know if that works. Maybe this Maybe I need to do this so you guys can see. <laughs> Is there any peanut butter lovers out there? Peanut butter cookies? When you're on the diet, or when people say the word diet, I just say it's a way of eating, way of life. But they'll be like, oh my gosh, you can't have this, you can't have that. Well, you can Pinterest almost anything and find a keto version of it, okay? So one cup of peanut butter in my bowl. I don't know if you can see. Hi Tia. Hi Elsie. And then we just need, if you guys want to share this out to any food groups you have, I would appreciate it. You guys know I like easy recipes and I post all my pictures of everything I've done. I do have these pictures I think I have a picture of these cookies in my keto photo album, but I've never made it on a live, so I figured, what the hey. Alright, half a cup of stevia, or sweetener of your choice, you can use Swerve or whatever you'd like. I use stevia in the raw, it doesn't have the bad stuff in it, this one doesn't. Stevia. Oh, and I do want to show you my chicken strips I made earlier. <laughs> and then one egg. That's all the ingredients. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla just because I don't follow directions. <laughs> Let me rinse my hands off real quick. And you preheat the oven to 350 and line up with parchment paper. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and then you just mix it and you roll it. Then you make like little X fork lines and then you can put salt on top, which is what I'm going to do. Can you guys see? There you go. If you, yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> You guys have any questions? Hey girl! Let me know if you have any keto questions or anything. You can ask me anything about myself, I guess. I'm an open book. <laughs> this is seriously the easiest thing ever. Oh, and it smells good. That must be the vanilla. <laughs> No questions. You guys are so quiet. Maybe it's too early right now. But I was thinking, man, it's been a while since I've had peanut butter cookies. I think I want to make that. And you probably could add some on 
sweetened um, cocoa powder, but that would increase the carbs, so that's kind of up to you if you want to make them chocolate peanut butter. There we go. And then, I don't know why I sing when I'm talking to you guys. I'm not a good singer. <laughs> I just scoop a little bit and then roll it out in my hands. My hands are washed, I promise. And put them on the parchment paper. And the recipe will change depending on how many um, cookies you get and what kind of peanut butter you use. So let me rinse my hands real quick. So that all depends on what you use of how many macros this is. I believe I calculated it out to be close to one for each cookie. So then we will, can you guys see that? Just fork it with the neck or as an X and then you'll sprinkle salt on top and I believe it said only 15 minutes in the oven. So I'll just do that repeatedly. You guys don't have to watch me do that. We'll just sprinkle a little bit of pink salt on top. And that's it. Pretty easy, right? I'm like the queen of easy recipes. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, please drop them below. It could be about this recipe or about past recipes or about me. It doesn't matter. I will answer any questions you have. Other than that, I that was it. <laughs> like, that's how easy. You don't have to make this diet you know, complicated and hard. I am a mom of two girls. We're always on the go. Hey, Melissa. And you know, I gotta have easy things. Today, there's no practices or games, so I'm able to make cookies. I'm gonna make my cinnamon and sugar pecans next after this, but yeah. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys end up liking this and I will talk to you later. Please share this video out or you know ask me all your questions i'm here for you guys all right well you guys have a good night and i will talk to you later bye yes peanut butter is the best cult i'm telling you <laughs> i love peanut butter cookies they're so good i've been making these seriously before i even did the keto diet just letting you guys know i've been doing this for a while so all right, well, you guys have a good night, and please share this out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.